Mayor Kelly Slavic from the City of Plymouth joining us again. Welcome, Mayor. Thank you. We have a lot to talk about, so let's get right to it. First, budget talk. Believe it or not, it's already occurring, and it's been occurring for quite some time. Give us the update of where you are now in the process of some dates to remember in the future. Sure. Well, after three years without a budget increase, we are looking at a 1.9% increase for 2013. But for the most homeowners, they'll actually see a decrease in their city property tax because the commercial industrial portion is starting to pick up a little bit more of the tax. Mm -hmm. So um, we are having a budget uh, hearing on Tuesday, December 11th at 7 p.m. in council chambers and um, encouraging people to come out and if they have any questions or want to review the budget. When you pay your, every, for every dollar that the city collects in property taxes, 22 cents on a home comes to the city, mm. 10 cents on a business comes to the city. So we provide a lot of core services for that and we're really focused on maintaining those services with the, our limited tax dollars. All right, and again, if you have questions, you can go to the city's website, some information there as well. Let's talk events, a busy time of the year for the city of Plymouth. Let's start with the pets. Sure, sure, we're gonna keep people very busy. That's good. <laughs> uh, November, the first weekend in November, November 3rd and 4th, we're having a pet expo. It's a new event for the city. Unfortunately, this year, we, you can't bring your pets. Mm -hmm. We might work on that for okay. future years, but there'll be um, demonstrations, canine and I guess rabbit, races or something Very good. but there'll be lots of vendors and booths there for people to get information and for those that love exercise a little walking news and 5k running news tell us about those sure well our dome is opening up free for walkers and runners mm -hmm. that's november 5th hours changed based on the uh, rental of the facility so okay. we encourage people to check the website and we have a hotline set up too where they can call and get the hours <laughs> for the day great and 5k runners yep this is a new event too saturday november 10th it starts at the hildy performance center it's a paint the pavement 5k run and walk mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. people will have the chance to leave their artistic stamp on plymouth uh, as they're running through paint and leaving a footprint ah, so, very interesting yes. all right continue mm -hmm. the art theme art fair coming up soon as well Yes, after a two-year hiatus, our art fair is back, Saturday, November 17th, Sunday, November 18th. Free family event. We'll have lots of artists there showing their wares, and they will be for sale, and we'll have entertainment for kids and music as well. And we have to say it, Christmas is coming mm -hmm. soon. Old-fashioned Christmas coming again. Yes, yes. On December 2nd from 2 to 5 at the Plymouth Historical Society, we're going to have a special guest there in a red suit again mm -hmm. this year. So we're excited about that. And not the mayor. That. Nope, nope. <laughs> <laughs> Bigger guy. Very good. And finally, in the last couple minutes here, we want to talk elections. A quick reminder for people, few changes this year in polling places and also who you might vote for. So yes. take notice. Yes, yes. Redistricting happened, and so polling locations changed. Postcards were mailed to every household, but sometimes people get in the habit and they may not make the change. We really encourage people to visit the city's website. There's a link to the Secretary of State site where you can put your address in, get your polling location. There'll be sample ballots to review as well. All right, so people, again, an opportunity to get that information ahead of time. Mayor Slop, thanks again for your time. We'll talk to you again soon. Thank you very much.